New at five students in Anderson County are getting hands on experience in the medical field. This is all thanks to a grant supplying the school with what you're seeing there. Medical mannequins. 10 News Anderson County reporter Emily Crabtree takes us inside the classroom with those students. Emily. Robin, John, these students are all part of a career technical education or CTE. This education allows students to get hands on experience in their chosen field. And most of these courses at this school allow them to get college credit while in high school. There is one where it's like different sicknesses for the baby and like it shows you like the different sounds and stuff and you can kind of get used to it. So then like when I go out, I can be like, oh, well, I remember that now because I got to work with it earlier. From helping older patients to younger ones, students at Anderson County Career Technical Center are getting firsthand training to become medical assistants. Medical assisting, which is this class, gives them the opportunity to apply all those skills with hands on like in our classroom, but also out in the field. The students work with mannequins with unique physical needs to learn how to work with different patients. Students learn how to take vital signs and give CPR. They also work with local medical clinics to gain hands-on experience in the real world. They also get to um, be with some of the physicians as well to see exactly what it looks like when a doctor is doing an intake with a patient, when they're prescribing a medication, when they're giving them education. Students also have the opportunity to become LPN certified when they take this course. But the fun they have in this class is the real takeaway. It's a really good experience and it's just a fun class to take. <laughs> Even if you don't have an interest in it, I think you definitely should just take it because it's fun. <laughs> Now, the students also have equipment to simulate what a person with dementia may hear, as well as glasses to show different visual impairments. All of this is thanks to that $50,000 grant from the state. That is fascinating. Is. All right, thanks for sharing that with us, Emily.